All right, where is Tyson Dagenhart in regards to Mountain West Basketball Conference Player of the Year? Where is he in the discussion? Is he in the discussion? Where in the discussion is he? 208-424-9300. We're talking Boise State hoops. Got the late tip, 830 Extra Mile Arena hosting San Jose State at the bottom of the standings. A big stretch of games coming up for Boise State only because they can win. They should win. And Prater, hopefully for this fan base's sake, they will win and put themselves in an excellent position with a few games left in the league to possibly win this thing. Wouldn't that be crazy if Leon can win the, this league two out of three years? Wow. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, especially if he could follow it up with an NCAA tournament oh. victory, which, again, is all I really care about. How how lucky, not lucky, how fortunate is Boise State basketball that they're going back to Fresno State on Saturday, which they won that game by, what, 24, I point? 90 to 66. They're playing the four worst teams in the league, Wyoming, Fresno State, San Jose State, and Air Force in their next four games. So that's uh, that's a nice break in the schedule after such a rough start. And that's exactly what Jerry Palm was saying. You've got to win these games if you want to be team relevant. And for Tyson Degenhardt, if he wants to be individually relevant in the Mountain West, he needs to have the kind of games he's had the last four games. And Boise State needs to compete for a championship over these next couple of weeks. Prater, 29, 25, 17, 24. Those are the last four games of scoring that Tyson Dagenhardt has had. His rebounding numbers are up as well. Good assist numbers. He's finally hitting free throws at a very high percentage. Wish I could say the same thing about downtown. Hasn't hasn't developed into the three-point shooter I would have liked him to do throughout his career. He's only shooting 30% in conference games. That's not good. But we're talking the candidacy of Tyson Dagenhardt to win conference player of the year. First first people person to do it here since Derek Marks if that's the case but before like what what goes into it you've been talking to the Mountain West today we wanted to know the exact criteria first and foremost for how you do win this sucker yeah the Mountain West player of the year it'll be 11 coaches strictly just the 11 coaches voting for this and, and the award is, is based on conference games only so it has okay. nothing to do with the non-conference it has nothing to do with the postseason it's literally the 18 conference games and the 11 basketball coaches voting on this. So that's exactly what the criteria is here. And to answer your question, is Tyson Degenhardt in the conversation? Absolutely, he's in the conversation. He probably wasn't four games ago. Now he's absolutely in this conversation. I think he's playing better than anybody in the Mountain West right now, but I don't think he's going to win this thing. As a matter of fact, I think he's got a long ways to go. First of all, Boise State, if they, if they run the table and win a regular season championship, which is certainly in play, and and Tyson Degenhardt continues playing the way he's playing right now. He's going to get votes and may even win it. There's a path for him to win it. There's no doubt about that. Right now, that path for me starts with uh, uh, Ladi out of San Diego State and Osabor out of Utah State. And they play tonight. It's the first. It's the two best teams in the league. It's the mm-hmm. two best players in the league. It's the two best players on paper in the league. The dominance of those two players over anybody else, to me, it's a big gap. It's those two, and then there's a big gap, and then there's like three or four or five other players after that, in my opinion, that could that still have a chance to go off and do it. Probably Tyson is the best chance, just based on the momentum that he has and the way that he's been playing. Uh, and if he can close this sucker out and get the team to close out strong with him, he's going to have a chance. But right now, I think there's a lot of work to do. It's Ladi, it's Osabor, and let's see what happens after that ball game. You know what? In your opinion, then, listeners, what what does Tyson Dagenhart fill in the blank? Blank must happen for Tyson Dagenhart to win Mountain West Player of the Year. What would that blank be for you? If not, I also want to ask you the question: Why not Tyson? What's going to be the reason Tyson Dagenhart doesn't win? Mountain West player of the year. Maybe it's a simple name of another player, or maybe it's the standings. Maybe you have to have a first or second place finish if you think you're a Tyson Dagenhart and you want to win this thing. For me, Prater, if Tyson Dagenhart does win this award, he's probably going to have, and you'll detail this in a second very well, but he's probably going to have lesser stats than Ladie or Osabor, right? It's going to be one of those things where it's he's it's going to be Not only the stats will be good, but not as good as those two, but it'll be a glue thing for me. It'll be, I mean, coaches are the only ones with votes. Coaches, you would think, love Tyson Dagenhart. I think they'll say if Boise State can win the league, and that's my blank. They have to, in my opinion, win this league to have Tyson Dagenhart win this award. I don't think he can win it on a second or third place team. 
and that'll be easier said than done. But for me, it'll be one of those deals. Coaches, you know, probably favor Tyson Dagenhart a lot. I mean, he's a coach's dream. Maybe that helps him this year. Last year, he was first team all league. Does he take it that next step? I think he's in the mix. I think he's a candidate. We'll see what he does tonight. But prepared to buy no means is this thing even close to being wrapped up, and that includes Jaden Lede and your boy, Great Osabor. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's not wrapped up. There's definitely plenty to do, but I, yeah, I mean, the only way that Tyson is going to win this if they win the league. And statistically, even if he's not as good as those two are, uh, and Boise State wins the regular season, there, it's going to be a tight race. He's going to be in consideration, but if Utah State wins the regular season, you know, you got to go with Osabor, who's been playing absolutely phenomenal bas- or basketball. If San Diego State wins the regular season, you probably got to go with Ladi, and you can't take Tyson. You know, Tyson's stats are pretty close to those guys, but if you look at the stats here, and if you look at conference only, uh, I mean, Ladi is considered the odds-on favorite to win it, but his rebounding and his scoring have gone down very slightly since they started conference play. What I'm saying is he was more dominant and outside of the conference than he has been inside the conference. Both Tyson Degenhardt and Great Osabor have upgraded their per points per game, their rebounds per game in conference play, not by much, point here, point there, Mm -hmm. but they've gotten better in conference play. To me, that's an absolutely good sign. I took 24 statistical categories over uh, them off the Mountain West site, and Osapor was listed in the top 15 of 19 of those categories. He's a well-rounded player. I mean, he can do all things. He's he's one of the best all-round players. He's that inside force. He can do a lot of different things. Uh, Ladi is is a rebounder and a scorer, and he certainly is going to be in there, but Tyson Degenhardt to me is... uh, He's got a lot to do. He's taken uh, yeah. out of those 24 statistical categories I talked about. Osa Bohr is listed in 19 of them. Tyson Degenhardt's only listed in nine. Statistically, he's not really? even close to dominant. Not even close to dominant like Greg Osabor. I mean, that great Osabor is. So uh, I put uh, I kind of put him in tier. Tier one for me is Ladi and, and Osabor with a massive gap. And then tier two is is uh, the Ty- Tyson Degenhardt, the Isaiah Stevens, maybe even House. Uh, Blake Shearer, Griffin, some of those other guys that are doing great things on, on statistical. And some of those guys that I even just mentioned here uh, are statistically better across the board than, than Tyson Degenhard. So Tyson Degenhard's doing great things, and if he continues to play well, very, very well. And he's playing at a high, high level right now, and Boise State wins a regular season. I can see it happening, but there's zero room for uh, air to their ballgame. Yeah, and I think it's going to be Ladee. Osabor, Tyson, in that order. Isaiah Stevens is my wild card. I mean, I don't think Colorado State's going to win the league, but if Colorado State can somehow rally, maybe like run the table, win the league, maybe they turn it into some type of sometimes Prater when it's close, a league and coaches who vote, they'll turn it into like a lifetime achievement award. And you'll see Isaiah Stevens will get it. Because, hey, well, he's played in this league for five full years, never left, been an all-league guy perennial, perennially uh, each and every year. And maybe if it comes to a point where they'll give it to the old man, maybe they will. But for me, I mean, San Diego State, if Ladie keeps doing what he's doing, I think he, I absolutely subscribe to the fact that he is the front runner. Osabor's the wild card, man. Utah State, this guy wasn't in the league last year. He was playing in the big sky, man. Playing for Montana. Sprinkle brings him down to Logan. His numbers get dramatically better across the board. It wasn't like great Osabor ate the big sky's lunch last year. He didn't. You look at his numbers, he almost went like double his scoring. It's crazy the 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 jump that Osabor made. And uh he's Statist- got Statistically, yeah. the most dominant player in the in the league by far. Great Osabor. Yes, and, and and unfortunately for Tyson, in your argument there, Isaiah Stevens is across the board. If you look at all the different statistical statistical categories, yeah, he, he doubles up Tyson Degenhardt. Isaiah Stevens is in the top ten in twice as many categories as Tyson Degenhardt. But you know, there's the glue guy. There's the how you playing now, well guy. Um, and, and you know. I mean, Jerry Palm has uh, Colorado State as a five seed in the tournament. They got Boise State as a nine seed. Now, Colorado State's got to go off and close the deal. There's no doubt about that. Let's see what happens in the regular season. The, certainly, the, the the tournament won't have any impact on nope. this. The votes will already nope. be done. But votes will uh, be done. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I, I, if I had to rank them in order at this point, I'm going to go Osabor. These are my opinions, not how I think it's going to vote. Osabor should be the the player of the year, and to me, it's not even close. He's that dominant of a player. Then Ladie, then I'm going to go Isaiah Stevens, and then I'm going to go Tyson Degenhardt, which firmly puts him on the uh, all-conference first team where I expect him to be. Don't forget, by the way, 
uh, Isaiah Stevens was the preseason player of the year mm. in, in this conference. Okay. I would imagine uh, that's going to carry a little bit of cachet, even though it probably should. What do you guys think? 208 424 9300. Tyson Dagenhart. Why could he? How could he win player of the year in this league? And why won't he? 208 424 9300. We'll take calls and text messages on that. Back to Great Osabor, real quick, Brader. He, Boise State, for whatever the reason was, you know, he didn't he didn't rip Boise State off this year. You know, great Osabor. First off, like he's like never sat. Think about this. He's played 40 minutes and then he played 43 minutes, the two games, because one of those games went to overtime. So he has never sat a minute in either of those games Boise State and Utah State have played this year. But one game 10 and 10. Okay. The other game 14 and 10. Okay some great numbers but if you look at his game logs what osabor's been doing to other teams in this league i mean he dropped over 30 on san jose and air force the two worst teams in the league he dropped 24 on unlv there at the bottom of the standings but yeah this guy's been lighting it up and uh really cool story i know people in boise don't care about it it's utah state they hate those guys they don't want them to be good you think most times but utah state what an interesting story and i'll leave you with this who you got Utah State, San Diego State. Who oh, wins that game? Oh, I have no idea. I, I have, where is the game being played? Uh, I believe it's in San Diego State. Who who won the first game? Um, uh, I believe Utah State. Oh, I don't know. I don't have any of these. I don't have facts for you. I just want you to just tell me what you like. Here, <laughs> I, 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 would, yeah. I would have. I have no idea. So. Not to, okay, Kenny Chesney. Yes, we have uh, your next opportunity to qualify for Kenny Chesney tickets coming up. JP will get you that information. Uh, here in a few minutes. The original Kids Fair we're talking about for a second is presented by Bymart. It's this Saturday, February 24th. Special guest, Bluey. KTIK, the tickets teaming up with Optimus Football. So we'll all be down there registering registering kids for their programs. Going to be a full day. Interactive fun, magicians, stage performances at Expo Idaho. Saturday from 10 to 6. Myself, Prater, and JP. We're taking turns at the booth, Prater. I hope nice. you're ready. Oh, uh, we're coming after your kids, guys. We want you to bring your kids to the kids' fair so we can wrestle with them and rough them up. It's going to be great, huh, Prater? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go meet Bluey. I, I, that, that I don't get. Who the hell is Bluey? I think, Bluey's I think, a cartoon character. I think he's a dog, right? Is it Blue's Clues? Is that Bluey? No, no. They're totally different. Blue's, 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 Blue's a dog, right? Yeah, Blue. Blue's Clues. Bluey, no, the dog. No. <laughs> Blue's Clues is a different dog. These JP history lessons, man. I love it. All right, prayer of the ball game. KTIK the ticket. From the Beacon Plumbing Traffic Studios, this is Ticket Traffic. 